We're into the home straight here on the Football Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at the Car Giant Renault. A busy day today, which is why it's transfers all the way. Now I'm just back from the Tottenham press conference ahead of the second leg of their Europa League qualifier against Hearts tomorrow. And Harry Redknapp's just revealed something very interesting indeed. He was asked about whether he was interested in the Liverpool midfielder Joel Cole. And he said, we haven't made an approach for him, but I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't have him at the club. Spurs fans, your reaction please. I think it would be fascinating to see whether Harry could work with Joe Cole again. Also, Liverpool fans, do you think your club would loan Joe Cole to Spurs? You know how to get in touch by now. Elsewhere, lots going on today, but because we like new names here on the show, have a look at this man. He's Ulysses de Vila and uh, Chelsea see him as their very own version of Manchester United striker Javier Hernandez. He's 20 years old and he plays for the Mexican club Guadalajara. He's said to have been hugely impressive at the Under-20 World Cup this summer and scored and made one in the third-place playoff as Mexico beat France. In total, he scored three goals in 11 games for his club and Chelsea must have seen something in him that they like uh, because they've had a bit of £2 million accepted. Now, Harry Redknapp was very coy this morning about whether Spurs have agreed a deal to sign Emmanuel Adebayor on loan from Manchester City. But we can tell you that they have, and he should have a medical today. The Newcastle midfielder, Joey Barton, he's been granted permission to hold talks with QPR. The Daily Mail predicted this morning that that would happen. Sky Sports have confirmed it has. Uh, go to the Mirror Football website for details of Sunderland's interest in the forgotten striker at Manchester City. Well, the other one, Rocky Santa Cruz, Celtic like him. To. The Sun say that as well as Joey Barton, QPR also want to sign Jermaine Jenis from Spurs. And for all of you Arsenal fans desperate for news of a possible signing, well here it is. The well-informed L'Equipe in France. They say that Arsene Wenger is ready to use some of that cash burning a hole in his pocket to make an improved offer of 25 million euros, which is 21.9 million pounds, for the Rennes midfielder Jan Mvaila. As if he doesn't have enough midfielders, Roberto Mancini has told the Sun that midfielder Daniela De Rossi would be absolutely perfect uh, for Manchester City. Two stories from the Championship from Sky Sports this morning because they say Rotherham have turned down £300,000 for the striker Adam Lafondre from Sheffield Wednesday and they've dismissed an offer from Coventry City for the front man as a joke. Also Sven at Leicester, he's confirmed that he's prepared to let striker Martin Waghorn leave Leicester before the close of the transfer window. No messages today. It's a very, very busy day of transfer activity, but keep them coming in and we'll get them on the show later in the week. Just a bit more for you before we go, though, because the French club Lille have told Arsenal to keep their hands off the winger Eden Hazard. Full details of that on the Mirror Football website, but the word on the street is that Arsenal are very, very interested on him and they want to bring him in before the window closes. Liverpool, they're set to sign the Uruguay defender Sebastian Coates from Nacional. Uh, we spoke about him on the show yesterday. His dad who's also his agent. He was in the country yesterday to sort things out. Lots of reports during the rounds that Chelsea have made a bit of around £16 million for the Porto left-back, who can also play in midfield, Adavaro Pereira. And Birmingham City, they've signed the Senegal international midfielder, Guerin and Dor, on loan from the French club Saint-Étienne. Rob and Dan are in the Mirror Football office waiting to update you on what is already a very, very busy day. The Football Spy Show is back in the morning. I'll see you next time.